I have common variable immunodeficiency or CVID. It's a primary immunodeficiency disease which is characterized by improper production of antibodies. So because I don't make antibodies properly, I tend to get sick a lot. And if I do get sick, I tend to not fight it off as well as other people, so I stay sicker for a longer period of time. Common variable immunodeficiency, like a number of other immune system problems, is treated by periodic infusions of immune globulin. It's a plasma product, and it's very expensive. My insurance is currently billed over $5,000 every four weeks for the product I use. So the prospect of not having insurance is really scary to me. I have had insurance through the high-risk program in the state of Utah. And I received a letter last July telling me that I needed to find something else because my coverage was going to end on December 31st and that insurance would be available through the marketplace. When I was looking for the plan, I was looking for something that would minimize my out-of-pocket costs. That's combining premiums and co-pays and deductibles. When I was researching the plans on the exchange, I first looked at the provider networks. There were six companies and over 80 plans offered, and it was a little bit overwhelming at first. And the first thing I did is look at provider networks, and I eliminated four of the plans right off the bat because the provider networks weren't very good. I then, for the two remaining plans, looked at how they cover immune globulin. I also looked at the pharmacy benefits for other medications I'm taking and especially for antibiotics, which I might need to take. The plan descriptions that were available online were really summaries and they didn't have enough information. So I then called the insurance companies and spoke with salespeople. And I wasn't 100% sure I could believe what the salespeople told me, but I didn't really know where else to go. Some of the problems I found within the marketplace were limited provider networks for the four companies I ruled out, some limitations in the pharmaceutical formularies, the and the main other thing was the lack of um, access to out-of-network providers. I didn't see any of the plans that I looked at that were anything but HMOs and there are no out-of-network benefits. I would like to have the option of going to somebody out-of-network in case I end up with something exotic and need to go to see somebody who's a super specialist, especially if that person is out of state. The plan that I chose does include all of the physicians that I currently am seeing or that I have seen recently. First of all, I before I began even looking for plans, I went to the Immune Deficiency Foundation website and downloaded the Health Insurance Toolkit. And that gave me an excellent set of questions to ask or issues to look for in the plans. Partly for anybody looking for insurance and partly for immune deficient people in particular. I would recommend that if you are looking for something on the exchange, that you investigate the plans and really consider all of the costs involved and the benefits. If it seems overwhelming, I certainly would recommend going with an agent. A friend of mine did that and got a plan that he's happy with and he had no hassle at all. One glitch that I ran into with the healthcare.gov website is that when I initially set up my account, I put in some 
bogus information for my income because I didn't have the number handy. And I figured I could always go back and fix that later. Well, it turns out that once you exit out of that initial data input for your personal information and start looking at plans, you cannot go back to edit anything. So it has been a little bit of an effort to get that fixed. One last point is that I strongly recommend that after you sign up, when you receive your policy in the mail, that you read it carefully, because there may be some surprises. I'm actually quite happy. Once I figured out which plan I wanted and signed up, everything went very smoothly. I had to pay a premium to the insurance company, and as soon as, I, as, soon as they had an, a policy number available for me, I could pay that and get the process started to get approval for my immune globulin. 